welcome to my channel. First of all, I'd like to apologize for my long break I took. I was preparing for my finals and my cat died two days after my birthday so I didn't really have any motivation for posting. I'm feeling much better now and decided to make a video. And just like the title of the video, I'll be making Genshin characters. I'll be only doing travel and the free for stars you get and if this blows up, I'll do more. Let's start now. The first character today is Amber. I know I should have done Lumen or Ether first, but I picked Amber. For the top for Amber, I did the opposite Attract Bodus Toggle 2, Winter Guardian Bodus Toggle 7, Steampunk Bodus Toggle 15, and Whimsy Witch Bodus Toggle 13. But later on, I removed the Steampunk Bodus. I added the Steampunk Belt since Amber has these bags, around her waist and the steampunk belt kinda matches it. I struggled a lot picking out the shoes for this outfit since there aren't really shoes that matches Amber. I can't wait to see the new set. While filming and editing this, the set comes out in one day. It's been a while since a new set has came out, but one thing I worry about it's going to be crazy expensive. Anyways for the hair I picked out the perfectly fluffy hairstyle for Amber. I was still deciding on the hair color so hazelnut syrup was just a placeholder for a while. Amber has this bow on her head so I tried to use the bow headband but I hated how it looked. Like how it poked out the sides. Anyways I added the mech goggles to match the ones on Amber but the only problem for me is that it's kinda see through. I decided to try to use the human arms and the talk to you later sleeves in this outfit. I think TTYL means talk to you later. Okay, so when I recorded this part day, 14 wasn't out yet, so I was using the last few toggles of the human arms to make it look like gloves. Time to do the face. I was just messing around with the custom stuff until I liked something. I just remembered about some item in the valentine section and went to put it on. Look it matches Amber. She's a bow user character. I hate this so much I hate how it doesn't say bow the way I want it to. I decided to use the Batmo heels for the shoes. I went to change the eyes and add some freckles. Why? Because the face looked flat and empty. Alright this seems fine now, I'll start to color. I decided to start with the bodices. The reason I was frozen was because I was messaging someone about a trade. I went to save the fit and headed over to the trading hub. Alright so I finished the trade and day 14 was out so I went to go add that to the fit. I adjusted the toggles of the talk to you later sleeves and added the snow swan reset lace gloves. I also decided to change up the face. I also changed the her color to Coco. Was just making sure it's Coco. Alright time to actually color the fit. My finals just finished today and I'm on winter break now I think. 
Someone told at me it's called midterms, but like my school is calling them finals. Right about now, I removed the steampunk bodice just like I said earlier. Anyways about my finals, I struggled a lot with math and physics sadly. But for math, I've been improving a lot recently. I love how this fit is looking right now, it's so cute. For the body, I decided to use a pattern, but if you're going to try this out and don't have the pattern pass, just use the custom color palette. problem I said about the goggles it's see-through and the color I want to put doesn't work properly. I just messed around with the colors on the heels until I liked it. also decided to change the eyes and the lips. I also added ears even though the hair is covering it. I now added the archery kit for Love Fairy's item back on cause it would have blocked my view earlier while making the outfit. This is the outfit. I love how it turned out, I love it so much. The items used. And the colors. The second fit today is Lumen. I tried to do other but I spent like 30 minutes trying to make it and I gave up. Anyways for the hair color I couldn't decide between softest feather and twinkling star. For the hairstyle I used the Bora hair and the high rise bangs. I like it besides for the small ponytails at the side but that's fine. I couldn't decide on what shoe to use so I decided to start with the accessories. For the flower in Lumen's hair, use the magical flower from the wheel. For her skirt part, I'm using the Whimsy Witch Toggle 22 and the Opposite Attract Skirt Toggle. I couldn't decide between the Whimsy Witch shoes and the Batmo heels. Anyways, I'm using the Whimsy Witch Bodice Toggle 14 and Steampunk Bodice together for the top part of Lumen's dress. In my Genshin account, I picked out Ether instead of Lumen. Also in that beginner Noel banner thingy, I got Noel Fiscal and Bennett in the same poll and I decided to main Noel. And Bennett has been on my team ever since that day. I joined Genshin during the banner before Kazuha's first banner and during his banner, I got him and started maining him instead of Noel. But sadly, I haven't been able to play since June since my phone doesn't have enough space for Genshin. But soon, I'm getting a computer and I'll try to start filming on that so the videos can be better quality and I'll try to play Genshin again after months. Right now, I changed the eyes since I didn't really like the ones I gave Amber so for the rest of the outfits I'll try to give the same eyes. I also decided to use the Shadow Empress sleeves to match Lumen's glove sleeve thingy. As you can see, I was still struggling picking between the Whimsy Witch shoes and the Batmo heels. For a bit, I used the Batmo heels but later on I decided on the Whimsy Witch heels. I struggled a lot with the shoes. Time to color the fit.
also changed the eyes again. Since she's a sword user, I added a sword. This is the fit. I forgot to add ears, but that's fine if you want to recreate this in ears and maybe some earrings. I love how this turned out, it's so cute. Sorry if the quality is bad right now. Items used. The face and the colors. The third character today is Lisa. And again, I'm changing the eyes because I want the green eyes to pop the one I had on doesn't really show the green eyes. I decided to leave the face for later and started with the hair. At first I put cool gingerbread but later on I changed it. Also for a while I thought Lisa's ponytail was like a braid so I used the ice queen hairstyle for a bit. Right about now I realized it wasn't a braid. So then I decided on sporty side ponytail. After getting the hairstyle I went to go pick the bangs. At first I tried the Emma bangs. But then I picked cosplay queen bangs. I then added ears unlike in the lumen fit where I forgot to add them. For the bodice combo, I used Whimsy Witch Bodice Toggle 13 and Darling Valentina Bodice Toggle 9. Just like the amber outfit, I used the human arms and the new gloves in the game from the advent calendar. For the vision necklace thingy on Lisa, I used Toggle 6 of the Snow Swan adorned ornamental necklace and Erling set. I also changed the toggle of the gloves to 7. It's decided to use toggle 9 of the Whimsy Witch Hat. It took a while for me to decide between toggle 7 of the hat or toggle 9 with the Goddess of Triumph flower. But I decided with the second option since toggle 7 had a lot of flowers on it and the second option would have less stuff up there. Of course Lisa is a witch, I think, so I used the Whimsy Witch Heels Toggle 6 for this fit. I'm also using the TTYL and the Princess Peppermint for the sleeves. I decided to use the eyes I always use made by Artsy Chanel. I also saw that Lisa has this belt thingy so I used the steampunk belt. I use toggle 9. Alright finally time to color. I decided on this purple for most of the fit. I made the purple slightly darker. I also added a mole cause I wanted to. My mom messaged me so that's why there was a cut. I changed the hair color to cookie dough. This is the fit. I love it so much, it's so pretty. I'm using the book from the locker to match the weapon Lisa uses. In case you were wondering, items used, the face, and the colors used.
last and final fit of the day is Keiya. And of course, the voice thingy doesn't say words properly again. I could technically use the same hairstyle from the Lisa's fit and I did, but I changed the bags to the Emma bangs. I struggled for a while picking out the hair color cause most the blues were like too light or something. For a while I used black eyes but I changed it later. I then decide to do the custom face. After the custom face I messed around with the hair then changed the skin color. Alright time to actually start with the outfit. I used the Whimsy Witch Bodice Toggle 15 and the Steampunk Bodice Toggle 15 but at first I used the opposite Attract Bodice. For the sleeves I used the Moan Sherry sleeves and if you want to look like Kaya has his gloves on you can use that feature on Roblox where you can color your body separately like each limb separating and you can make the arms black to match the gloves. Right now, I decided to try to change the hair color again. I picked the Noticing Miracles hair color. I also added the eye patch, but like it's on the wrong side, but that's fine, I guess. Kaya has this cape thingy so I use the fur collar and the billowing cape together to try to recreate it. Alright time to color. It took a while for me to choose a blue I liked. looked like a bit darker than the white, I made all the other white in the outfit slightly darker. I forgot to add ears and some earrings so I went to go add them. I used the headmistress's earrings for this fit. This is the fit. I'm so glad this turned out good since I'm not good at making mask fits. Items used. The face. And the colors. That's it for today's video. Comment down below if you guys want me to make a second part and if you do comment down some characters. In this video, I decided to make the text-to-speech thingy and remove the text. And I'm going to try start doing that from now on for my videos. Alright, then this is the end of the video and have a nice day.